We've got a great video for you this week. You join me in our warehouse. I'm stood next to not one, but three Powerwall 2s. What's so special about that? We install Powerwalls all the time. We do, and you'll probably see all the Powerwall 3s right behind me. As a lot of you know, the Powerwall 3 came out just before Christmas, and Tesla stopped producing the Powerwall 2. That left a lot of people left in limbo in regards to their already amazing Powerwall 2 systems. Can they expand it? Tesla's not really given any indication of whether the Powerwall 2s will be backwards compatible with the Powerwall 3s. So, because there's been a finite amount of stock, it's been an absolute scramble to get whatever Powerwall 2s we can for our customers. This could be the last triple Powerwall 2 installation in the UK, or possibly the world. We're super excited. Let's go. We'll show you how we're going to do this. So, three more power walls to be installed on a customer's um, job, which has already got three power walls. Uh, they've got a few things to overcome. So, add a bit of a walk around. This is the current setup. It's got three power walls, one on each face, it's got solar, solar on the on the roof. And um, we want in, uh, one more power wall per phase. We've bought the stacking kits for this system. Um, so we're going to have to try and make the floor level. It's been um, the false road being built, as you can see. Um, so I'm not sure how strong that is, but anyway, we're going to build a bit of a false floor on each power wall for the second power wall to sit in front of it. Um, so the stacking kit fits in it and looks all nice and flush and neat. Um, so yeah, so this is the system. Uh, I'm gonna run, um, I'm gonna keep one isolator per per job because you should have two spare um, spare poles in there for your line neutral. Uh, Hager board, we're gonna tap straight into that, into your Hager from there to each power wall. Um, current setup in the gateway is this. So yeah, we will show you the end point, because I think the far right one, that's 10 mil higher than these two. So we've got Lado building floor. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. So we've uh, had a walk around the job and uh, yeah, there's a couple of challenges to overcome. The first challenge is when we install the stacking kits, you need the ground completely level. So as Corey said, we're going to build little platforms and we'll show you, we're going to build little platforms and make every single power wall level because the power walls sit upon the platform and then get joined to the first power walls. The second problem, which we naively didn't foresee, is how are we going to get the power walls out of the van? Not every customer has got a forklift or telehandlers, as we can expect. But we've got a really genius solution and we're going to show you now. Luckily, our customer had quite a lot of spare wood lying around. So we quite simply built ourselves a little ramp to gently push the power walls down so that we could lift them via our dolly truck and then get them into place. So now that we've got the power walls out of the van and in position, let's crack on. So now Corey's here terminating the new circuits that we've run from each new power wall. We've gone behind the false wall back to the mains board. You might ask why we've not gone into the gateway and quite simply on this one, the gateway's full. So we've gone back to the main board. You can see him now just finishing off the stuffing lands and what have you and terminating on the power wall side. Just going to show you the platforms that Reese has made. He's our apprentice and is Awesome, really, really handy and exceptional at joinery and things like this. So he's had to make them so precise because not every single power wall was mounted level. One of them had a 10 mil difference. The end result though really does speak for itself and a massive credit to the guys. They've worked really hard on this job. You wouldn't believe this, but they did all this in one day, just one day. Our customer now is enjoying a massive 81 kilowatt hours of Tesla battery storage with a charge and discharge rate of 30 kilowatts. This means to charge 
the whole setup from empty will take him just under three hours, which is perfect for any overnight rates or smart tariffs. Thanks so much for watching if you've made it this far. This has been one of our favourite projects so far this year, and we're only in January. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We've got more videos like this on our channel and we've got loads more to come. Remember, if you or anybody you know is looking into or considering solar panels, be sure to check out our website, ecocute.com. We post all of our latest deals on there. We advertise our prices. We offer free advice, free remote surveys, no waffle, just clear, honest advice.